Hey guys, just want to let you know that I'm back now from surgery. Um, I finally recovered, although I still can't um, bend down or whatever, so I guess that's something. Uh, just want to let you know, um, yes, I have a Sonic and Shadow video coming out soon. Um, for those who don't care about this, just fast forward, honestly, just fast forward. But for those who want the Sonic and Shadow video, it's coming out soon. I'm working on it. I'm just, I'm just way behind. I got to get back on schedule. I also have a Sonic Movie 3 video coming out soon, and apparently we're getting a Knuckles uh, show trailer at the Super Bowl, so I got some videos coming out for that soon. Don't worry. Sonic content is coming for you guys soon. It's just taking me some time. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know about that. Enjoy the video. Thanks, guys. This year marks the seventh year of the Nintendo Switch, and the anticipated Nintendo Switch 2 is showing evidence of arriving just around the corner. What's also around the corner is the annual February Nintendo Direct. Now, I've done a video like this before, but since Nintendo will most likely be releasing a new console this year, and they've pretty much played all the cards in their deck last year, I'm starting to wonder what else they have left in this generation. That's right, everybody, I'll be doing my first ever Nintendo Direct predictions video. I'll be mostly going over what I believe may have the chance of appearing, as well as things that most likely will not be appearing. And so, I, I, think, you get, I think you get the gist of this video at this point, so let's just dive in. But before we get too heavy into predictions, let's just scratch one thing off the surface. No, the Nintendo Switch 2 will not be announced yet. But I want it now! I believe we won't be hearing any information about Nintendo's next system until E3. <coughs> I mean, Summer Games Fest, aka the game announcements during the summer, now under full control of Jeff Keighley. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get <laughs> you can get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GameFest. What the fuck? Another case of us finally getting new t details on the new system would be through its own decade event, just like the Nintendo Switch. But enough talking about the Switch 2, it's time to talk about how Metroid Prime 4 most likely won't show up. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Or will it? There's a good chance. Metroid Prime 4 was first announced in E3 2017, and it was, if not, the biggest announcements of Nintendo's E3 festivities that year. The Metroid Prime series is one of Nintendo's most beloved spin-off franchises. Not bigger than Mario Kart, though. Like, <laughs> no, no contest, no contest. The Metroid Prime series was developed by Retro Studios, and this fourth installment was originally going to be developed internally at Nintendo's headquarters. Unfortunately, plans fell through when Shinya Takahashi had to be the bearer of bad news on January 25th, 2019. メトロイドプライムシリーズファンの皆様が本作に寄せられている高い期待をよく理解しています。発表以降、皆様に何だぞこうお伝えできておりませんでしたが、私たちがメトロイドプライムシリーズの続編となるこのタイトルに求める進出
area and like when they saw Metroid Prime 4 they said it almost reminded them of that in how big and vast and opened it looked. I mean it's not much but it sounds very promising. Not to mention the speculation about a partnership between Retro Studios and Next Gen Dreams, a Games for Hire co-development studio that has been listed Retro Studios as one of the clients during 2023. And they may be clicking us a trailer to get an idea from what to expect for this game. So, if we do get anything for Metroid Prime 4, expect very little to no gameplay to be shown this month. It most likely will be a cinematic trailer. I have less sources in the description for this topic if you'd like to see more, but for now, let's move on from this touchy subject and talk about farming simulators, the only thing that you could ever expect from Nintendo Directs nowadays. Uh, just kidding, no one cares about the farming subs. I mean, I can't say no one cares. There are people that is made for some people out there, just not for me. But let's dive into things that I believe are going to appear since they've been announced, such as Splatoon 3 DLC, Side Order. My next major prediction involves either another brief look at Side Orders for Splatoon 3 or an in-depth overview of what to expect from the DLC. Since Side Order is releasing on February 22nd, it makes sense to talk about it one last time before it launches. Princess Beach Showtime most likely will make an appearance since we're only a month away from its release. Like, it literally releases in the Within like the first week of March, so we're not too far away from it at this point. Definitely count on Luigi's Mansion 2 Remake to show up, as we still don't have a release date for the game, and we'll most likely get a date for it when the game is set to release. Last February, we got the first few details about a new Professor Layton game coming to Nintendo Switch, so we might finally get more information on what to expect from the game as well. Tales of Kanzira was first revealed at the Game Awards last year, but we haven't got any more details since that event. I suspect that we'll be seeing this game make an appearance during the direct, but it will most likely be a brief highlight. Now let's get into something that some of us most likely don't want to hear or talk about. Genshin Impact. Oh, stop! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't worry, don't worry. I won't take too long on the subject since we only know it's coming to Nintendo Switch at some point. But when? We first got a trailer about it arriving on Nintendo Switch on January 14th, 2020, but with no release date. There has been a closed beta for the game that you were able to sign up for, but I checked and it's no longer available. And no, I wasn't checking this to play it, I was checking for research purposes only. Although that's a pretty bad excuse nowadays. At this point, they are most likely waiting to drop the game on Nintendo's next system. And it makes sense since we may only have a few months left before the Switch 2 supposedly releases. That's enough Genshin, though. I couldn't stand talking about it anyways. You know what's a great segue, though? I, I get nothing. But you could hit that subscribe button if you got a second. We also don't have a release date for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Plus, it's a remake, so I can guarantee that we'll be seeing this make an appearance as well. Star Wars Dark Forces Remaster, even though most of us forgot it was even coming to Switch. At least I think most of us, I didn't know it was a thing. It will definitely show up considering the release will be right around the corner after the Direct. Mario vs Donkey Kong might as well make an appearance considering how hard Nintendo is marketing this game. Like seriously, the marketing for this game is going so hardcore right now. Not to mention that its release date will only be a couple to a few days away after the Direct as well. Besides that, I'm not expecting anything too big for, for Nintendo Directs until we hit summer. By the time we reach June, Nintendo has to pull out everything they've got planned for this launch of their next system. Well, not everything. At least the big ones to make sure they can secure people's money for the next system. Better yet, the next system might have its own event held either a couple of months prior or a month after the Nintendo Direct in June. All I know is that I can't wait to see more info about the next Fantasy Life coming to Switch. I don't even know what that game series is. That's all for my predictions, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I got a few wrongs because because the rest of the Nintendo Switch's lifespan is kind of unpredictable at this point. I mean, what else does Nintendo have planned besides remakes, spin-offs, and ports? Is there anything groundbreaking left for us to look forward to during the closing months of the Nintendo Switch? Feel free to discuss your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, and as always, thank you so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy, make sure you leave a like as it always helps with the algorithm nowadays. In the meantime, I'm gonna go try and figure out what this Sonic and Shadow game is all about. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.